I'm Mike Morosky, and I'm running for city council. How will you gain the support of corporate Cincinnati, whose capital this city needs, while making the voice of the people the chief concern in the process? Two minutes. And that's an excellent question. And uh, for that very reason, two years ago, I sought out uh, the University of Notre Dame uh, because they have an MBA program in not-for-profit management and government relations. I knew real quickly as I was seeking foundation monies with my not-for-profit work that I could get to about 70% of the way through the conversation, and then the last 30% I was well aware I was making up. But I was good at it because I have an MA in language. So that said, I really wanted to know what those hard numbers were so that I could do the be most for, you know, or the best for most people. So I just graduated in May with my M&A degree from the University of Notre Dame so that I can talk to talk with those folks. Uh, plus, through my not-for-profit life, I've made a number of relationships with C-suite executives and, and you know, businessmen and women throughout the city. Not to mention my career teaching in the Catholic schools, Moeller and Purcell Marion. So again, to answer your question, Dan, for me, when I have these conversations, um, when I have these conversations, I always come at it from that economically moral lens. Again, for me, it's a moral issue, but economically, it's very easy to show the economics of affordable housing and accessibility in the city. Furthermore, I think it's extremely simple to show the economics of having a strong African-American minority business uh, community in the city when only 1% of the shared equity is in that community and it's a majority in our city. You don't need an economics degree to figure that out. So really, as I've done uh, for my, my whole career, send the same message, and depending who you're speaking with, you need to show how, for them, this is going to benefit when, again, the moral issue may not be at their core principle. So breaking down the numbers, showing the returns on investment similar to what Toledo's been able to do with their visitability and accessibility incentives and using best practices around the country as evidence.